Hello, this is Hellbent, and welcome back to part three in the if statements tutorial. Uh, it's been quite a while since I did part one and two, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the date of last edit to today's date, which for me is June the 13th. So it's been about a month and a half, like I said, so I'm a little bit rusty, so bear with me. Um, before I start, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little little stopwatch I have so I can keep on time. Uh, and we will just start that. And I'll put it up here somewhere. Okay. So the last thing we had worked on was the greater than equals and less than and equals. So now we're going to go on to else. And up until now, I think I had been using a variable that we had named temp. Yeah. So I'm going to change it up a little bit, and now we're going to use a name that's a little bit more specific to what we're getting. So I'm going to call this user input. So the variable that we're going to be using, we, we've just named it user input. I've just put it up there so that way I can tell the variables that are in play. It's not doing anything right now. I didn't actually need to put it there, but it's there. I can see it, and I know what it is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a bunch of conditions to test and then I'm going to run that and we're going to see what's going on with this else thing. Okay, so we need our input box and we need our variable which we called user input and then I'm not going to worry about the title thing so I'm just going to leave that blank and I'm going to add a prompt. So the prompt I want is I'm going to ask the user Okay, so we're going to ask our user to enter a number between 1 and 100. We're going to put in a little sleep command because, uh, like I said before, um, sometimes when the dialog boxes come up too quickly, it might bury it underneath the program and everything. So this will just help prevent that. Probably not needed, but it's not going to hurt it either. Okay, so we're going to test a bunch of conditions. Okay, so the first one we're going to test is if user input... Now you might have noticed that I don't actually have that little arrow thing that I used to have and that's because I'm using new recording software that actually records my mouse. So there, I had some issues. I tested the program a few times and every now and then it sort of like lags a little bit and it might lose a couple of frames. I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem with something simple like this but if there is I'll review this after I'm done and as long as nothing like important's missing I'll just keep it as it is. So if you see a couple frames get dropped no big deal. Okay so user input and we're going to test if it's greater than 100. And we will have our thing and we're just going to put out a message box. Like I said before we're just doing really simple stuff for these just to 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 cover what it's doing and the, the best way to cover these kind of things is just to keep them as simple as possible if you get the basics of it later on you'll be able to use them in much more advanced ways uh, message box and we're just gonna say the number is too high because we did ask our user to enter a number between 1 and 100 Now, if you're liking these these uh, tutorials, please be sure to leave a like. Um, as you might have noticed, my channel is really small, and it helps keep me focused and know that I'm actually helping people out with these videos. So, if you like these videos, leave a like. If you want to see more, leave a like. Help me out. Um, okay, user. If you don't like them, leave a dislike. And we'll say if it's greater than 90. And then we'll just do a message box. And we'll just say the number. Well, I do that all the time. The number is... OK. 
Okay, now because I'm a slow typer, all I'm going to do is I want to add a couple more if statements, so I'm just going to copy and paste them to speed it up a bit. Okay, so this one's going to be if it's greater than 80, and we'll just change these things. And if it's greater than 70, and then last we're going to add in an else. message box um, some random message it doesn't matter what it says okay so if you look at this what do you think is gonna happen before I continue on what do you think is gonna happen if I enter in a number like 111 like 111 what do you think is gonna happen okay that's enough time What's going to happen is it's going to come to this first if sta statement and it's going to ring true because 111 is greater than 100. So it's going to print out this message box. And then it's going to come to this next if statement and it's also going to ring true. So it's also going to print out this message box. And in fact, it's going to print out all four of these message boxes. All right, and we will demonstrate that now. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, well. Sometimes if I, this scripting software, it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes if you try to run a script, it'll overlap it. So I don't actually know how much time we're into. Let me actually check. All right, we're at six minutes. A little bit slower than I want it to be, so I'm just going to stop that. We don't need that. Um, let's see. Okay, so we want to test if it's true. Okay, so we got 111 and our number is greater than 100 so it says our number is too high it's also greater than 90 so it prints it out that it's also greater than 80 so it prints it out that and it's also greater than 70 so it prints it out that so what happens if we don't want that what if we only want it to come to the first condition and if that's true we want it to ignore all the rest of the tests the way we do that is in front of the if we put else so now it's going to if it comes to this first one and if this one is true the next time it comes to these other ones it's going to completely ignore them because it's already got our output and we'll just finish off adding in the else if okay so like I said if it comes to this first one if this one is true when it comes down to this next one it's just gonna ignore it ignore it ignore it if this first one is false though it, it is gonna test this one and if this one is true then it's gonna ignore the rest of the things likewise the same thing here if the two above it are false and it comes to this one and it's true it's only gonna print out this one and ignore everything else after it okay so we'll just save that here I'm gonna get rid of that and we will run okay so we'll test again with 111 so now the last time we ran this as soon as I pressed OK it also popped up our greater than 90 so let's see what happens now and it exits no problem so it, it did the first one the first one was true so it ignored everything else after it we'll test that again with the greater than 90 so we'll just put in 99 and our number is greater than 90 and it should ignore everything else after it and it does we'll test one more time we'll do 77 and our number is greater than 70 okay so this is how we're gonna test only one to make sure only one condition is true because in other words what we would have to do is we would have to put in ranges so we'd have to say if it's between you know 90 and 100 we print out this message box if it's between this and this we print out this message box this is a much easier way uh, of doing that so this is um, we want to test a bunch of things but we only want it to do the first thing that comes true now when you go and start programming with these else if statements you have to think about how a program runs and how you when you wrote it down it's going to go from the top of your script working downwards so you want to arrange it in such a way that it's going to actually work out that way. because if I go here and I copy this and if I paste it in here and then all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to comment it out okay so now what's going to happen is 
if I put in a number of 99, instead of it going greater than 90, it's actually going to do our 80. And it's greater than 80. Right? So you have to think about the order of how it's going to come across those if statements when you set it up. So think about those things when you're writing it and because that's a common error is that it's just the sequence of events is a little bit off. So just bear that in mind. That's all I, that's all I want to say about that. Okay. Um, I think that's, that's good for this episode. We'll come back and we'll continue on with part four. Like I'm, I apologize that I was only able to get out one thing on this, but like I said, I'm a little bit rusty. So we'll hopefully speed up and it looks like probably two more two more episodes for the if statements hopefully I can get it all done within that amount of time um, like I said if you like these tutorials and you want to see more please leave a like and I will see you on the next episode